Hi guys, this is Killer J, and today I'll be doing some Q and A. And yes, this is all. This is Q and A episode four. I only got eight questions, so I'll be answering them. Have you ever watched Dragon Ball Z as a kid? Yes, I have. This is a pretty good show back then. You know, I was into it. There was like, what the? Pretty damn cool collecting those damn Dragon Balls and Goku and Vegeta feuding and that. There's pretty cool damn stuff. So yes, Killer J. You can see right now, if you guys want to add me on PSN, this is my uh, PSN user ID, the Pointman68, and yes, I'm on level 5, and I ha this is my newer account, this is my older account, I couldn't sign on to it, but you see I played Sonic, Generations, Lollipop, Chainsaw, and now I'm playing Resistance 2, and there's the Uncharted uh, Drake's Fortune Trophy, so you can see that, yep, okay, next question, what is your, ah, oh, fuck off. What is your favorite horror movie? Nightmare Nightmare on Elm Street. And favorite horror movie character, Pinhead. Have you ever watched Goosebumps as a kid? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I watched it. Or read the Goosebumps books. I have a couple of Goosebumps books, you know. I have a couple of them. I have some books there. I don't have all. I have some of them, but I don't know where they are. something here. I have this one. Haunted Mask. Had others, but they're probably somewhere else. Somewhere else. I just don't know where, but... I have a, have a few others, so that's that. That's that. Jeez. Oh, oh, fucking... Oh, when are you going to review Chimera's Age of Hell album? Uh... Good question. First of all, I'm going to listen to the songs, get a feel for them. And I'll review Chime Air. Don't worry, man. I'll review Chime Air. If you want me to review other things, I will. I'll try to get to it there, but... you got to understand something, Fast and Furious. Not that I'd be an asshole or anything, but, you know... Killer J has a job, working, part-time. I have some time. I'm just hanging out with friends and chilling. But, you know, I have respect for you. You do, you do some pretty shocking YouTube videos, for fuck's sakes. You know how to get on people's nerves with the PC gaming and the PS1 and the sucks video. I've seen it. I've seen it there. You gotta piss off some people with that. And you really hate Christopher Nolan too, but. Uh. My thoughts on that? It's your opinion. I'll let you have it. I'm not gonna say anything about that. Actually, yeah. So that's pretty cool. Good, no, good stuff. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Will, will will you or Wolfpack Games make it SNES versus PS2 90s versus a 2000 console that you know compare system talk about their games? I will make it. I will give you a PS2 versus SNES console video to talk about the system, but they're both good systems, but I don't know how to compare, do a good comparison to them there, but I'll try, but if I was doing PS1 versus PS2, you know, PS2 would get their fucking hands down. If you were, if you, if you were a creative owner of WWE in charge of the company creative team, what would you do to make the WWE cool again? What would I make it the cool again? First of all, how would I make it cool again? I wouldn't have John Cena in the fucking main event non-stop. Get him the fuck out of the main event. And I have, uh... I uh, have some uh, some old stars coming back and trying to build some new talent. You know, I have like I have Brock Lesnar uh, wrestle against wrestle against Triple H nipples. Uh, also, I have him wrestle against uh, Sheamus. Maybe a couple others and. I would have it like the Attitude Era style. I have, yes, I'll do like Attitude, make it kind of like the Attitude Era, and make people want to watch it. Where these PG fuckers are ruining the WWE. So how would I make the WWE core? So I would have Rock Lesnar there. I have the Rock Lease win the title just for once, just have it for a couple of days reign there, and I have uh, what else would I have? 
I have Road Dog and Beat. Uh, what else? I would have John Laurinaitis get his ass kicked. And I have CM Punk, uh, compete against Daniel Bryan, Evan, uh, Evan Bourne, and, uh, CM Punk, Daniel Bryan, Evan Bourne, like a triple threat fruit with those guys, but I would have Randy Orton because he's fucking boring as shit, so fuck Randy Orton. I would try to make it cool, but I don't know how. Uh, first of all, I can't push the Big Show because he's not fucking talented, so there you go. Fuck Big Show. I'll make it cool again with Attitude Era style. Uh, have, like, have, like, a hardcore match or something. Have different variety, make new matches or concepts, and... Who would... Who do you think will win the, the Fatal 4 between Super Scene, Goku, Spawn vs. The Original Dante, or Kratos from God of War? Uh... They all sound pretty damn tough. Uh, I don't know how I pick a preliminary winner. My my opinion would be Spawn. But Spawn, I like fucking Spawn. He's a cool. He's a pretty cool Spawn. You like Dante? I like Spawn. Fucking, I got the movie. I got the the animated stuff. I got the figurines. I I got Spawn on getting and uh, Spawn on the SNES on my computer. So yeah, Spawn. Which mainstream, which mainstream celebrity would you brutally murder if you had the opportunity to legally kill him? Justin Bieber. That's it. That's all. Why would I kill him? Because he's a fucking faggot. He sucks. He sucks at singing. And I don't know why fucking people like that idiot. I would kill Justin Bieber. I don't care. My name's Killer J. That's what it is. I would kill Justin Bieber, or fucking uh, not just Justin Bieber. Fucking Justin Bieber fucking sucks, so there you go. <coughs> oh fuck, that's a big burp. Drink a lot of pop though, for fuck's sakes. Sorry if I'm belching in this video, but I answer your questions, you know. I'll make try to make WWE cool again by having great matches. I have Brock Lesnar kick the shit out of Sheamus. I have him be up fucking all the other guys and have them dominate. Have him dominate the competition. Dominate the roster. So, yes. I like Free the Dark. It's pretty cool. I like Goosebumps and Free the Dark. Both of them are pretty fucking damn good. I like Goosebumps more, but Free the Dark's pretty good too. So, yeah. This is the Killer J of RMG. Peace. And if you, please, guys, send me some questions. It can't be always fast and furious send me questions because this guy sends me really good questions or. It's really good to answer. Just think of some there. Think of like how does RMG prepare for their game reviews, or how does RMG know each other? How does the these guys get along with each other? Because they're good friends with each other. They're not fucking cutthroat. Back. They're not cutthroat saying, "Oh, do this, do that." If you want to do the review, you can. It's up to you. Because I want to want to have the content to post, entertain the audience, entertain yourself, Fast and Furious, and you know, this Killer J. And guess what? Please, bye.